batteries for the fucking ring. Yeah! Okay. So, for many of you, uh, I was brain farting a lot because I don't read readmes uh, and directions. So, hopefully this tutorial will help you visually to install the proper SKSE 2.08 if you're playing Skyrim Special Edition like I am. Uh, the 64-bit version, hence SKSE64, uh, into your game directory folder and getting it to work properly with all the fucking mods that, that uh, you and I like to run because we know that vanilla sucks ass and we enjoy modding our game. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my mod manager, which I forgot to do. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and go to this SKSE.Silverlock.com Dot org. Uh, there is an update on there, 2.08. Uh, if you don't have the VR, don't ignore that. If you don't have the current build 1.73 installed on Steam, don't worry about that. Just go ahead and download the SE build 2.08. Uh, 7-zip archive, you can run it on WinRAR. I already downloaded quite a few times um, just to make sure it works. And I'll just close this, uh, minimize that window for now. Once you have it, uh, go ahead and open up that folder. I recommend 7-zip. And if you don't have 7-Zip, Renoir works fine, but 7-Zip works more efficiently. And go ahead and click and drag this somewhere on your desktop. Let's put it right there on Dakota's face, on her nose, so she has a script booger. Yes, replace these files. I already downloaded it, and I'm just showing you again. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right. For me, since I mod the shit out of my game all the time, I have my Skyrim Special Edition shortcut uh, um, uh, file on my desktop but in this case if you don't know how to get there it can be quite uh, confusing at times and where you install your games are definitely definitely <laughs> different I said definitely twice different than where most people um, they just have their different preferences of where they want so the C drive D drive E drive wherever hard drives you have so go ahead and open up Steam you go to your library yes I don't have many games because I'm a cheap fuck you go to the properties Go local files, all right. Browse local files, and it'll bring you right to this. So let me close that again. That just brought it up for my desktop. Browse local files, it brings it up, and boom, you're in your Skyrim special edition um, folder. Um, I recommend to delete the Skyrim SE executable, executable and the launcher, and verify integrity of the game files through Steam. Once you do that, you'll see a load bar. Uh, wait till it's 100% and it'll reinstall the Skyrim ex executable and launcher. You're not going to use those, but it's just in case to update your Skyrim executable files. Okay, so once this window is open, the Skyrim Special Edition folder, you want to go back into where you downloaded your SKSE. Click and open that shit. Now, I highly recommend reading the README. We are going to look at the installation piece first because each and every one of these change slightly and I failed to realize uh, a step. We're going to copy the .dll and .xe files to your Skyrim SE directory. So since we already had those steps, we're going to click all of these, <coughs> excuse me, click and drag these motherfuckers into here. I already did it. It's going to ask you if you want to replace it. Yes, you're going to click yes. So let's go ahead and go and replace these existing files. Yes. Okay. So you're going to get these files highlighted that just got replaced. You got your SKSE loader. And I need to remind you that you will always, since you're modding your game, always open this game from the loader. We're not going to do that right now. There is one more step that I failed to, um, to do. And my, I was wondering and pounding my keyboard why the fuck the game would crash. So, as it states in the README, since I don't give a fuck about directions, but in this case, I should have read it in the first place to avoid my anger rage. Um, you're not a mod creator, skip, uh, don't worry about three. We're going to go to number two, obviously in the order. You are going to go to your data scripts from the downloaded new SKSE version, open it up, and you're going to copy the PEX files into your data scripts folder of your directory. All right? Read that carefully, which I failed not to do. So I am going to go back into my Skyrim Special Edition, open up my data, and go into scripts. Bam. Okay. This is where all the mods are, the .pex files, as you can see. In this case, we're going to go back over to the SKSE file, open up the data, scripts, highlight all this shit, 
and you're going to copy all this shit in here. It's going to ask you if you want to replace. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it. But replace all the files, which I failed to do when I first started updating the SKSE and the game will crash. So we're going to close all of these, okay, including Steam. Goodbye, Steam, and my cheap-ass games, because I'm a cheap-ass. I like to download shit and work and play games for free. All right, so that's over here. Let's clean that shit up. I recommend sending the... I forgot a step. Let's go back, open up your game directory. You can right-click your loader and send it to your desktop as a shortcut, which I did. You can change your icon once the loader is on your desktop. Go to Properties. Go to Change Icon. And in this case, Browse. Go back to your Steam library and click on one of the icons. If you want to change a different icon, it's great. But I just have it to the default. We're going to open up the game. Run as administrator. That's a step you need to understand is run as administrator. Okay? Yes. It's going to load the game. Uh, this mini build on an NVIDIA platform is a little slower than my uh, Crossfire AMD. So we're just going to wait. Uh, plus, I'm running an uh, older Intel chip. Gotta go with the new badass 10 core fucking Intel chips. Then your shit be fucking really screaming with the new Corsair DDR. Anyway, okay. So my retarded ass is gonna open up the continue. Um, I have all my ENBs. There, you will get some errors as long as you're not going to get the Sky UI and SKSE errors. Those are the most important ones. Um, for me, I'm probably going to get the errors from Shalongs because <laughs> I, I modded it with a lot of Asian, uh, not a lot, but a few Asian mods. And so those mods tend to not be updated or not work too well, or they'll update in game later on. So don't worry too much about that. Let's hurry the fuck up. God, why did it take forever? I just want to play this game already, level 39 Battle Mage. Shit! Most friends and hirelings that are following you can be ordered to interact with the world. They can unlock doors, pick up objects, go to specific locations, or attack enemies. Wait till you see all my Slutify uh, followers. Alright, so we got my first warning. Um, it'll probably update on the left-hand screen. So, test V 1.5.5 supported is working correctly, as you can see. You missed that up on the left hand screen. High heels not working. It never did work anyways. So as long as this screen doesn't have any sky UI errors, your sky UI will work properly. So here's all my slutified mods and slutified followers, including the Yarl Solitude. So to test it, you're gonna open the game console command. You're going to get SKSE version. Type that in, press enter, and voila. Uh, Dick boys! SKSE64 version 2.0A properly working. How you can also test it even further, you go to your system, mod configuration, and here's all your mods in your Sky UI. If your Sky UI is not working, none of this shit would appear. Alright. So, box size medium, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so all that works. Now, I don't know, but when I was doing the Alduin quest, or the finishing with the Alduin quest, a random NPC, Loki, I attacked me and it dropped a fire mount and this Fenrir dog. If you don't know Lord of the Rings lore, uh, Fenrir is the uh, great dog that helps, I forgot, ba Balon, whatever, the, the first elf maiden and human to marry uh, in their quest. And now he follows me where the fuck I go. So I, I, I don't know, I, I honestly don't remember downloading that mod or having a Lord of the Rings mod at all. Well, it's pretty badass because he helped me fuck up Alduin. So we have Serana with the Necromancer outfit. We have Yordis all slutified in her cleric with her little fucking headband. Halo shit. Took out a follower replacer because I like how it looks. And it looks like uh, Elisip is floating. Let's see if she comes down here. They all float. Anyway, so hopefully this tutorial helps you. Sure enough, help me. Because you always want to follow directions, unlike me. Oh, there she goes. Uh, see, the heels aren't working too well. I just have to go and re-download that mod. So. Get the boys! Where the fucking vampires win? Yes! Go get this game out now. Yeah, maybe. 
かわいい。